Yo, 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 what's up, guys? How's it going? This is German Fernandez, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fold this origami heart bookmark. All right, so before we start, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you could do so by clicking the button right here at the top of the screen. Good part about subscribing is that it'll notify you as soon as I release a tutorial, which I pretty much happen to do on a daily basis, so don't miss out and subscribe now. Okay, so this is the design we're going to be folding today. This is a heart bookmark. As you see, it's pretty awesome. And not only that, but it's pretty easy to fold. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to be needing one square sheet of paper. And I'm using that 8.5 by 8.5 inch. Once you got that, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so you want to fold this bottom left corner towards the top left corner. And when you do so, you want to make sure that this bottom edge right here aligns nicely with the top edge. Once it's nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and open it back up. All right, so now we wanna fold this right upper corner towards the left upper corner. And when we do so, we wanna make sure that this edge right here on the right aligns nicely with the one on the left. Once you got that nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. All right, so once you've done that, let's go ahead and open it back up. And now what I want you guys to do is fold this bottom edge right here so that it aligns nicely with the middle crease. So go ahead, take your time, and make sure that you get it, get this fold as nicely as you can. Remember guys, like I always mention in a lot of my videos, every fold is super important. Take your time and align it as nicely as you can. All right, so now that you've done that and it's nicely creased, let's go ahead and flip over the piece of paper. All right, so once you flipped it over, I want you guys to fold this bottom right corner right here towards our middle crease. When we do so, we wanna make sure that this edge right here aligns nicely with our middle crease. Once you got it nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. All right, so once you've done that, let's repeat the same step to the left side. So we want to fold this corner towards our middle crease. And when we do so, we want to make sure that this bottom edge right here aligns nicely with our middle crease. So let's go ahead and do that. Once it's nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. All right, so once you've done that, let's go ahead and flip over the piece of paper. And now we're going to be folding this bottom corner right here, right where this crease ends, right at the edge of the piece of paper. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you got it nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. And once it's nicely creased, let's go ahead and flip over the piece of paper. All right, so once you flipped it over, what we wanna do next is with our index finger, we wanna spread apart these two layers of paper right here. When you do that, you'll notice there's a little flap on the left. I want you guys to push that down. And you'll notice there's a crease right here. I want you guys to align that with this edge right there. So once you've done that, once it's nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. See how it's nicely aligned? And now we're gonna repeat the same steps that we did here, but to the left. So we're gonna go ahead, split those apart, and smash the se section down, making sure that the crease aligns with the edge. There we go. So now, for the next step. Now what we wanna do is fold this edge right here towards this edge, making sure they align nicely. All right, so once you've done that and it's nicely aligned and creased, what we wanna do next is give some shape to the heart. So we wanna fold this corner upwards a little bit. So probably about a quarter inch or a little less. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so once you've done that, let's go ahead and repeat the same steps we did here, but to the left. So we wanna fold this edge right here towards this other edge, making sure they align nicely. All right, so once you've done that and it's nicely creased, what we want to do is repeat the same step we did right here to the right. We want to fold this tip upwards, just so that it matches the right side. 
you don't want them being disproportioned and being a little not symmetrical. Um, I mean, you can if you want, but then your heart wouldn't, it would just look a little weird. So if yours looks like this, then let's move on to the next step. So what you want to do now is fold this right upper corner towards that middle crease, making sure that this edge aligns nicely with the middle crease. Once it's nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. Now let's repeat the same steps to this corner. We want to fold it towards the middle crease, making sure that this left edge right here aligns nicely with our middle crease. Once it's nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. All right, guys, so once you crease it down nicely, the design is complete. So there you have it, guys. There's your origami heart bookmark. I hope you guys had fun. I hope yours turned out great. And do not forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, you could do so by clicking the button right here at the top of the screen. Like I mentioned earlier, the good thing about subscribing is that I release tutorials on a daily basis, pretty much. So don't miss out and subscribe now. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it some thumbs up. Uh, it really helps out my channel and I would really appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and by the way, if you'd like to fold any of these following models at the bottom of the screen, just go ahead and click on them, and I'll forward you to the tutorial.